right into this right now. What up, though? Heist Man, the foe talk, they talk, get our reviews. Today, we are reviewing RuPaul Drag Race Season 12, Episode 2, with my motherfucking co host and my wife, Charlene the foe. What's up, baby? Say something to the people. Hey. She said, hey. All right, let's get right back into this. This season, um, this episode two with a review. What you think about it? What's your initial take? I really enjoyed this episode. You you really enjoyed? I did. I, I like last week's group, but I think this week group, with the exception of a couple of people, uh huh, ate that other group up. Like there was just some stars on this group. I think this is gonna be the winning group. The winner gonna come out of this group, to me. The I other hate to the other say group. Who I thought I think the winner would be is of like of everybody. So what? I, I hate to say who I think the winner would be of everybody. Who do you think the winner of everybody going to be? Man. Let's just go through the, let's go, let's go through the let's contestants. Go, let's go through the let's contestants. Let's go through the contestants. All right. The first one, the first contestant of the new, you know, season two, I mean, episode two, season 12. The first one that came through the door was Rock'em Sakura. Rock'em Sakura. All right. What do you think about Rock'em Sakura? I like Rock'em Sakura. I think... Super cute anime. Super, it looks like actually it looks like one of our sons. Um, funny <laughs> enough, um, super cute and fun, except for the depression. I don't like the things on her eyes. You, you said Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel looked the same. I hate that same thing. I know thing. you don't like you. You don't like <coughs> uh, it's not standard drag, but right. you know, it's an art form, honey. It's an art form. And it it's is an art form. Um, super cute. Support. It's just sad the the depression is uh taking the happiness that the looks have down a notch. Right. And, and I think that goes back Yeah, because I all had I got I all had the looks. I got the um the poster with all of them on there and I got the pictures of them. Like uh -huh. so I don't have the looks yet. Maybe Oh so cute. So cute. We should you just gotta start getting those I gotta together. find those looks. I'm just you know last week we'll I showed get together. Last week I showed the looks of the people like when they had the big ass poster of all the mm -hmm. girls. But maybe uh, episode three or four we'll have the looks. We we'll have the looks coming in, and right? We should have got pictures of them damn meaty ass tux they had on this oh, show. Oh man, they... I caught Rockham Sakura since we're on her. He, I, I, uh, I didn't. She, I did not catch a, no meaty tux. She had a meaty tux too. Um, Aiden Zane got in trouble for it, but I saw something hanging a little bit on uh, Rockham Sakura too. And she that's what Charlene something. be watching. When she watch. Crotch watching. Crotch watching. Rockham um, Sakura. I like Rockham Sakura. I, I don't see foresee her winning. I do like her. Uh, I'd like to point out that uh, she's another example of bad, you know, the, the trauma parents put their, their children through. Mm -hmm. Gay or straight. Um, <coughs> it just it just carries <coughs> on in life and and it's weed good. Her story touches me a little bit, but we can move on to the next um okay the next contestant. The next contestant is Dahlia Sin. Dahlia Sin is breathtakingly beautiful. Yeah, it's a pretty one. Beautiful, prettiest one to me. Yeah, it is a prettiest on one. On the whole show, breathtaking. Right. Uh, I think the drawbacks. Um, well, I don't want—I don't want to say this is drawback. Let me let me say the positives first. I love her ratchet fierceness. Right. She she is ratchet. I don't even know if she knows she's ratchet, but she's ratchet, but fierce ratchet, and I love it. I don't like the tattoos. I know you don't like the tattoos. It's funny because I'm a tattoo artist. Right. But I think if she had no tattoos up there, it's just pure. She says bringing down the real estate. Is bringing. She's like down Naomi real smaller. Naomi smaller. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. Um. But she is the prettiest she's one. You beautiful. know, I like the pretty ones. I like the pretty drag she's queens. She's beautiful. And I see it right here. Um, but it's almost like a, a doll you put on a shelf. Uh -huh. She's got great looks. But is there anything more? Ooh. Is there? Ooh. Like, is she just pretty? You're right. You're right. That's what I, that's what I root for. I root for the pretty I ones. I know that she's pretty, but is, I need to see something more. Okay. I can't. She can't be my favorite off of looks alone. Oh, okay. Look, but I, I'm saying but this. But I can look at her all day. She's gorgeous. This half of the list, like, that we did seven last week and this, yeah. this six. This six got all, not all the pretty ones, but all of them. This the winning six right This the winning six. I, I hate this. I mean, I, I don't know, even remember no, the There's other one. a couple of them on the other team. Maybe two. The, 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 maybe two. There's a couple of them on the other team. Don't count them out. Uh, they're don't not count memorable. them out. 
Maybe, maybe I'm, just, I'm saying we just watched it. We though. just watched it, so these ones are fresh in our memory. But there are a couple on the other team. Okay, let's go on to the th uh, third one. Oh, goodness, this one. Sherry Pie. All right, I just want to say, I'm going to review all these episodes as mm -hmm. if Sherry did not catfish these young men. Because oh. what she did catfish is horrendous. Do you know what she did? Explain. Please explain to the people uh, what Sherry uh, Pie did. I'm sorry if I don't completely explain it correctly. Um, from what I understand, she, she pretended to be uh, an agent of some sort, an acting agent or uh -huh. something like that. And um, would get these young men to like do like sexual scenes. Oh. or She she would catfish, pretend to be somebody else, and got them to do some sexual things, masturbate for one of them. Um, Damn. And and just put these these young men out there and right. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. But I'm I'm saying like she they say she got disqualified. Oh yeah, she got disqualified. And but but you say you are going. I want to review her as if as that as was how I went into this happened. before I even saw anything about her. Right. Like I was like I'm just gonna look at it because she's already kicked up. You know she can't be in the final finale. Right. Um. But I I, I just wanted to give her. I want to see what she was about without you give it a the, fair shake. Yeah, the thing is, I didn't, I did not expect to absolutely adore Sherry Pie, especially after the scandal. So this, this is when you, this Sherry when you think. Pie is fucking amazing. She's like Bette Midler and, and uh, Ratchet Face from from Cry Baby, pushed oh, yeah. together. Like she, the eyelashes is a motherfucker. Oh, I didn't say she's the prettiest one, but some there's something there's. She's not a beast, though. Do you you oh, know what I mean? She shines like her. She's polished. She everything like from her fingertips. Like if you watch her, from her facial expressions to her fingertips to the way she stands, mm -hmm. she's like head to toe. Like when we watch when we watch Tyra Banks head to toe modeling, right? She head to toe movements. They're like articulated so well. Was H two T? Yes, H two T. I'm sorry. I'm mad. I know that. I know. <laughs> I'm not. Um, <coughs> there's Sherry <coughs> Damn, why'd you fuck up? Yeah, Sherry, Sherry Pie could have won this whole fucking thing. Sherry Pie could have won Just from the, the my thing. initial, uh, like, look, looking at the episode and, mm -hmm. and the contestants, Sherry Pie could have took this. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta watch out for Sherry Pie, man. Um, we know she no, didn't she, win. She can't win. She can't win. She can't win, but she could have But won. so far, she's doing a great job. She First impression, she's done. And that, that thunder dress, and she the, Oh my gosh, the camp was perfection. Okay. Let's get on to the fourth one. Jan. Jan. What, what oh, is her real Jan. name? You know, they, they cut it off. They keep saying Jan. She, she said just Jan. Just Jan because it's Jan Sport. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> when, how did I miss this? Uh, I had to look it up. When I went to look up the pictures okay. for this. Maybe because it's a, a real name of a company. Jan Sport, that is um, a yeah. book bag. Yeah. A book bag, yeah. Oh, okay. A let's backpack. Let's see what she came out in the little athletic gear first. Okay, right. okay, I understand. But that, that's what her name so really just is. Jan. Okay. I think. Jan's good. She's a pretty one. She is pretty. She's, I like the pretty one. She's good. One. She's enthusiastic. Mm hmm. But she, and I don't dislike her, don't take this the wrong way. Okay. But she's like that damn girl on the front row of the classroom who raises her fucking hand oh. every single fucking time and knows everything and to the point where she's so good she gets on your nerves. Damn. Jan, I like Jan. I relate to her. I relate to her because I... Yeah, you're a fucking nerd too. Yeah, I relate to her, but... And I probably get on people's nerves sometimes because mm -hmm. I'm too good sometimes. Mm -hmm. I know this. So I relate to Jan, but it is a little... It's just a little off-putting. Okay. So you don't, you don't, do like that's Jan. not, that's not your. She's not my winner. <coughs> but I do like Jan. I think she's beautiful. I think she, I like Jan. I, I don't want to say anything negative because I like her. Right. But she's just that girl. She's just that girl. Damn. Damn, Jan. I'm rooting for you. Can you I like Jan. I wouldn't be mad if she won. I just, she's just that girl. All right, let's move on to the fifth one. What's her name? Jada. Jada Essence. Essence Hall. Okay. What do you think about Jada? This is what I think going to win. I think she's going to be a contender. 
I, I mean, we gotta see what all these bitches I, get together. She's a perfect queen. But I think she's real she's good. Like traditional queen because and she's pretty. She, she is pretty. Ish. She's pretty. You know, I'm saying she. The makeup is stunning. Her right. styling is stunning. Uh, her presence is stunning. Right. Um, she she got her shit together though. Oh, like she can perform. Together. She dressed. She had them big ass shoulders. The beautiful. The big shoulders. Beautiful she, shoulders. Like to flaunt those shoulders out. Right. She's model S. Right. Um. She's elegant. Ele- so elegant. She's everything a classic queen should be. I think this is going to be the winner, for some reason. I mean, I think that's a good. I think that's a good. That's my um, pick. If not, um. She's got that it factor. Right, I was saying she commanding the room oh, when she, she stepped in there. She doing her thing. We're gonna have to see what, like, you know, you know how all the elements come together. Right. But but she did have um have a little pizzazz when she was performing. Right. I, I definitely can see her as a contender. She's gonna be up there, I think. What do you say? What, what do you think about it? Like. Oh, I love her. I I think because you know I like different types of drag. I love horror drag. I, I love camp drag. I don't like horror drag. It's kind of costume. I love it. It's like they can just do cosplay. I love it. I think you should. I love the try to look like a woman. I know you. You like so you love classic drag, but I think she's the epitome of a classic drag queen. Okay. And last but not least, number six to come in. What is it? Aiden Zane. Aiden Zane. Yeah. Um, Aiden Zane. A lot of energy. I think Aiden Zane dope too. Me too. This could be a, a, I, I another. Can't wait to see. This could be another um, top two, top three. I think I, three. I can't wait two. to see what Aiden's gonna do. Aiden's so different. Yep. I even like the little ugly little eye, eye makeup. It's just weird. Like, mm-hmm. Two different color eyes. I think that this one dope too. She had that meaty tuck. <laughs> I, I Somebody didn't get back there with that damn duct tape with that I good did, child. I, I didn't catch the meaty tuck. Oh, the tuck was meaty. <laughs> oh, we're gonna start calling people out. Hey, they had the meaty tuck this week. Uh, <laughs> but um, like I said, overall, I think that this group is gonna be the winning group. This out of I this really six, really enjoyed this group because, I, like, out of those six and versus the other seven, they had like. This is like an all stars already. Yeah, they were very They were the best too. ones out of that, out of that side up. It's gonna be a good season. Yeah, with the exception of a couple, like these I, ones really shine. I'm ready for them all to get together now. Mm-hmm, me too. Now I'm ready. Ain't nobody go home this week. Um, what's the judge name they had? The special guest judge. Oh, Lord Robin. They had Robin in there, and they also had um, what's my little dude name? The dude. The dude. Yeah. Ross Matthews. Oh, Ross is always there. Ross, he not always there. But he's there a lot. He's there a lot. But I'm saying he he back. Ross Matthews like back. Ross. And Thandy Newton. Love Ross. I know I love Ross. And Thandy Newton. Oh yeah, Thandy was there. It was there also. We gotta We're shout them out. Back. RuPaul Drag Race VH1. Um, I'm just a straight dude who enjoy drag. Enjoy no, not enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. Don't act like you don't wear my wigs, man. I don't put on wig. Give me a wig. He's a I, motherfucking. I liar. put on. I put on a wig. I don't put on wigs to. Man, you always fuck with my wigs. Don't. Play. If I see them shits laying around, I put that shit on. I put one on now. Give me one of them shits. You get your ass and we get one. I'm not getting one, man. Fuck my knee up. Ah, oh, see, stay off of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We to get into. Um, like I said. I can't wait for next Friday. I can't wait the next Friday when they all get together. I want to see them all get together. I want to see the tension. I want to see the shit. Then I want to see... this the, clashes. I, want, I, want, I don't want it to be like this group versus this group. Who do you think the villain's going to be this year? Who the villain going to be? I got to remember who the um the first ones was. I think Wu. Wuhan. Ooh, I forgot the name. There's something about that one, though. Just... Mm-hmm. You still beefing? Still beefing. And I still don't like Silky Ganache. Nah, I'm bullshitting. I, I, I just don't like Silky. But like I said, overall, season season 12, episode 2 went off dope. It was a better episode than the first one. They had a better group of people. And I think out of this group, um, somebody in this group going to win. Like I said, I'm just a straight man who enjoyed watching RuPaul Drag Work with his wife, Charlene Defoe. Charlene, do you have any... Last words before we get up out of here. No, nope. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. I, mean, I just can't wait. I wish I could binge watch it. 
Makes me want to just go back and watch some old episodes just to do it. That's what's up. We can't actually on Hulu. No. All right. Well. On Hulu? Yeah, on Hulu. I seen it. I thought that was on Prime. No, nah, I seen it on Hulu. Well, we'll see which season is it. They got like one through six, I believe. Oh, Remember okay. we was watching on Amazon Prime, we couldn't find all of them. We was like, yeah. damn, we got to pay for these. Just can't pay for them. This ain't going to pay yeah, for Yeah, we're cheap. Now we can really actually go through and watch it on Hulu. They're cheap. Yeah. That's why we don't have Logo. Oh, <laughs> no. Don't let them come on Logo no more. No way, dude. Uh, I don't fucking know. Let's get out Something of here with this review. Watch. Like I said, um, fuck with your boy Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Get our reviews. And Charlene the Foe. You can also catch us every motherfucking Friday right here on the Heist Man the Foe YouTube channel. We go live and talk regular random ghetto shit. Talk that talk every Friday at 9 p.m. on the Heist Man the Foe YouTube channel. Come through, like, share, subscribe. Put in the comment section, who do you think is the next top model? No, no, no. no. <laughs> the next RuPaul drag bitch. Who the next one? Who going to be the winner? My vote right now going for Arsenio Hall. Essence Hall. <laughs> we out of here. Fuck with us again. We're going to do this again all over again next week. Peace.